R&B as a genre has changed a lot over the years, but there's one producer in particular keeping that classic sound alive. Introducing D-Mile. A lot of his beats are guitar based, some acoustic and some electric. For our beat, I started by recording these chords on my Fender Stratocaster. Straight away, I double timed it and slowed the BPM down. Then it needed processing. d always switches up the processing on his guitars from clean and simple to more ambient ones. For ours, I started by adding a multiband compressor and preamp, then an amp, room reverb, compressor, EQ, and flanger. It needed something underneath it, so I looked at this Victoria Monet song for some inspiration. Dimal added this pulsating synth pad to complement the guitar, so I did the same, adding a shaper box and EQ. Now R&B often has lots of vocal layers, so it's important to leave room for that. For some final elements, I wanted to add some melodic textures. These synths and guitars make the sample feel more complete without adding lots of complex counter melodies. They're just simple one or two note textures. That's all for the melodies on this beat, so let's see how D-Mile does his drums. He's always switching between acoustic and modern sounds on his beats. For our beat, I wanted to combine both. I started off with an acoustic hi-hat alongside a reverbed rim and clap. Then I finished it off with two kicks alongside a synth bass. Another thing d is famous for is the way he uses vocals. So many of his beats are based around vocal chord progressions. Take this Her song for example. We could have been and we try to pretend every To do this, first you need a chord progression. I made this one with a very simple sign pad one shot. If you want progressions, one shots, and much more just like this, then check out Layers Volume 3, hit the link in the description. Now for the vocals. You need to treat your voice like any other instrument. To create a chord, the individual notes have to be stacked on top of each other. So I went through each note of the chord progression and recorded it with my voice. Then I processed them all with Order Me. I used a few different voices on there to make it sound like a choir, which of course has multiple people. Next, I panned them to make it sound bigger and bounced them all into one audio file. Now all we had to do was add some processing, including some reverb, EQ, compression, and shaper box. I finally added in a couple of synth textures that sound like this. To flip the sample, I brought the tempo down, as a lot of these more ambient tracks are often slower. For inspiration on the bounce, I went to this other Her song. To achieve that triplet pattern, I clicked in these hi-hats and rims using the one-third setting. After that, I had some extra perks and two different kicks. before finally adding in a synth bass. D-Mile is keeping R&B alive with his amazing sound selection and chord progressions. He uses sounds that most producers would avoid. For example, the way most of us use vocals is to add on top of our samples, whereas he uses them as the main body of his beat. I hope you guys have learned some things that you can take into your next cook-up. <laughs>